Vancouver Island, it's a beautiful place. It's a place of wonders. We have impressive mountains, deep dark rainforests, raging rivers, clear mountain lakes, and some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. And it's along these beaches that you'll see some of our most impressive birds, the wading birds. And one of these birds, the black oyster catcher, has to be my favorite. The black oyster catcher can reach 50 centimeters in length. It has a short, stocky, black body, yellow eyes surrounded with a red ring, a long orange bill, and pink legs. The male and females both look alike. These birds can be found from Alaska southward along the Pacific coast all the way to Baja, California, including all of Vancouver Island. These birds eat a variety of vertebrae, including mussels, whelks, clams, worms, and limpets. It especially likes to eat creatures that cling to the rocks below the high tide line. It usually feeds at low tide. It uses its long, sharp bill to pry bivalves like limpets and mussels off the rocks and then to open them. They also look for open mussels and disable them by stabbing the inductor muscle that holds the shell together. This keeps the shell open, allowing the oyster catcher to pull out the contents of the tip of the shark bill and swallow it. You can also see them probing the sand looking for sea worms and clams. The female black oyster catcher will lay two to three eggs in a shallow rocky beach nest or in a hollow on the beach above the high tide line. The nest is built by both the male and the female. They will create a depression in the ground then pick up and toss small rocks and pebbles into the depression with their beaks. They will use the same nest year after year. Both the male and female take turns sitting the eggs. The eggs will hatch in about 29 days and the chicks fledge in about 35 days. The chicks will stay close to the nest at first. One of the parents will stay with them while the other parent forages for food to bring back to the nest. Eventually the chicks will start going with the parents to the feeding areas. The fledglings will soon learn to fend for themselves, though they will not leave the parents for quite some time. And the parents will occasionally feed them as they go along, learning to look after themselves. The female oyster catcher, she has one brood a year, that's it, two to three eggs in the nest. The oyster catchers do not migrate and they do not stray far from their nest. So when you know where they are, you can always go back and pretty much locate them. Vancouver Island has a fair large population of oyster catchers and they are beautiful to watch. Anyways, thanks for watching. This is Bud. See you on the flip side.